Hello, this is H.G. Bailey. And I'm dressed like a chicken. And welcome back to Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3! Since last time, I took care of the grinding that we needed before proceeding through the final dungeons of the game here. One thing I also did, I was mentioning last time we got all those ultimate equipments from the weapon armor seeds. Huh. Yay. And that'll really help us out a lot. You really only need the weapon and the body armor. The, the um, others, they're negligible. Is the bomb slot where his shield would go on other yeah, uh, classes? Yeah. Ah. If I had made Duran in, into like a lord or something, we could do that. Ah. But yeah, here's all the ultimate equipment we got. We're maxed out on defense there. Too bad I don't get like a uh, sword and board kind of uh, DPS or like they had mm. uh, WoW for Warlords. I love the warrior and the uh, gladiator sands that they had for a little while. Yeah. But anyway, also, uh, here's all the stats that we got. I still need one more point of strength for Duran, but otherwise, it's pretty straightforward there. And because we got up to level 43, we got a new spell for Hawk there, because I didn't invest in intelligence yet. You don't want to do that until you get up to 43. Hmm. So, let's show off our new power. Yes, me lord. We got Aura Wave. 3 MP, fills up your tech gauge instantly. And we want to use that on Duran. And come on, press the B button to win. Turn this into a point and click adventure game. Pretty much. Oh, that didn't kill them? Ah, they must have had a little more HP. But yeah, basically, that's pretty much how we're going to be dealing with the difficulty for the remainder of the game. Yay. If the... <laughs> yeah. Now, since these guys have a little more HP, Sometimes I will have least join in with power up, so that way I can deal max or near max damage to everything. Hmm. But yeah, Duran, he has the most powerful full screen tech in the game. It is obscenely powerful. Oh! I did that before the buff happened. Whatever. Well, you get the idea, viewers. Hmm. This is pretty much what I built the entire run around. I basically started, okay, I want to use Eruption Sword with Aura Wave. How do I make that work? And I figured Least with Power Up can make that happen. Uh, for full screen text, I thought Kevin's uh, Death Fist move, whatever it's called, uh, was the strongest. Well, no, it's based on your strength stat, pretty much. And Duran has the highest strength of any character in the game. So, let's see, I need to get some more chocolates from my reserves here, just in case, before we go into the cave. But you can't do it in the cave? Well, once we start fighting, we can't. You can't access the reserve inventory while you're in combat. Yeah. Completely forgot about this little storage thing here. Yeah. Just press the start button, you get in there. Anyone? No? Well, I could use a little more HP, but everyone else I think is fine. But all right, let's see if we can find that Monostone of Darkness right there. Huh. Oh, well, that's weird. I thought they already did that. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, so why didn't, uh, there's the, uh, what's it, sunk, uh, gate to the Monoland open without that one breaking? Yeah. Or, period, if it didn't exist until now. Well, now we know what happened. Hmm. For boss time against Zabel Farr, however you want to pronounce his or her name. But first things first, we need to get our magic defense up. Does it matter which one we DPS? Uh, no, I don't think so, but we should focus on one at a time. Okay, should I uh, do my thing? Just attack. Ah, ready. We don't need Aura Wave for this. That's just a one-shot thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I need uh, Lise to continue with that then? You definitely want to get mind up on everyone here, because their spells will kill you if they don't. 
You also want to watch out for Demon Breath, because these guys can uh, kill your magic defense with that. That's why I want to kill the left one first. And did one of them just do the alien tongue thing? Oh, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Okay, let's get power up on Hawk then. Awesome. Oh, okay. yeah. You don't get the uh, group bus on her path, the uh, the uh, AOE ones. Oh no, no, no. I only have the single targeting ones. Ah. Bec but I do that on purpose because of the single targeting sabers Duran has. Hmm. So there's like no point in doing multi tech buffs. What does that do? Oh. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need to mine up again. But I think he's dead now. Ow. Or almost dead. I thought he used that as a final attack, but maybe it's just uh, when he gets down to a quarter of his HP. Oh. No, he is dead. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, I thought they had like a uh, graphical difference when they yeah. died, kind of like the bosses in uh, Mystic Quest did. Yeah, yeah. That was a cool feature of that game. Okay, um. Uh, am I dead? No. You're critical on HP, uh, though. So. I when you paused it, it looked like I was dead. Yeah. Okay, let's heal you up. But yeah, the reason why I wanted to kill the left one first, because it uses that demon breath as a final attack there. And if we kill that one last, then our magic defense would be low. And the boss would go into pissy boss mode. And our magic, we would probably die. By the way, when you're attacking, uh, use your level one techs. Ah, okay. It would be better to do that than Uh, to use, like, your level 2 or 3 techs. I don't want to trigger, like, a counter or something. Oh. Okay. Okay, and Lease. I think we got him dead on everyone now. By the way, even though Anti-Magic looks like a Dispel effect, and it pretty much is, it doesn't affect bu your buffs. Hmm. It only affects your tech gauge. Or at least as far as we're concerned, it only affects your tech gauge. It empties your tech gauge and that's it. Or elemental sabers, I think it affects too, but that's not relevant here. I forget what this guy does when uh, he dies. This? I don't think that was it. Oh, did he just... Yeah, heal himself. Yeah, okay. I was right, I guess. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's give Lee a little more help there. Okay. Hopefully you've got mind up on everyone. Because now the two heads, yeah, they're going to regenerate. I know Queen Zeal is in this game. Yeah, pretty much. And we only need to focus on either pick on the... Uh, the head. Which head? Yes. The middle one. <laughs> I was like, oh wait, they're all kind of heads, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, We're doing okay. I'll leave our HP alone for now. Let's just go after the middle head. That's the big one. Once we kill that, the other two... I think they die immediately now. Yeah, I said no if you wanted to uh, get to the last one again. Yeah, we'll be fine. Unfortunately, this game is only two players, so we can't control these. Even if we had a third controller. I thought someone made, like, a patch for that or something. Did I just hit every enemy but the one I wanted to hit? Maybe. <laughs> uh, let's see. Least needs the most help. Yeah. So we'll start with that. Let's see. Let's get you gone. I'm going to leave Duran alone for now on his HP. I would rather use the uh, honey jars on him because he has so much. But I'll wait until I go below like 200 or so. Maybe, maybe 300, but... Wow, these guys are casting their spells really fast. Yeah, it's like, get two hits in, wait five seconds for them to finish their animation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's heal Hawk, and then I'll heal Duran. Keep it there. Oh! Okay. 
I meant to not get messed up with that. So the lease is going okay. If you just want to stay like above 300, that should be good. Okay, not worried about the fire breath. Oh boy. That could hurt. Ow. We're still good though. It's only a 30 or HP. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of magic defense on Duran. That's just the way it is. So. Okay, any more HP loss, and then I'm going to want to uh, heal up again. Do we have any kind of like group healing items? No, I banned them. Because we don't have Carly in the party. Nah. Okay, let's go lease. How many chocolates do I got left? Okay, and... Oh, we got... We're actually doing pretty good on chocolates still. We should be very close to the end. By the way, Zabblefar is... Well, if you can't tell... Guess what element she's weak to? No, you were supposed to be sarcastic and say, like, dark or something. Like most of my viewers do. But yeah, if you had, like, Saint Saber or something that was light elemental, that would be good here, but I don't. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Ow. You should almost have her. Oh, um... I was gonna say, the two on the right, left and the right, are dead again. Yeah. Can we just clear those down or something? Or did you, like, uh, life tap them for more HP or a heal? Oh, Lise has been whacking them upside the head. Oh. Hm. I'm surprised she did that pretty much by herself. Yeah, that's why I, was, that's why I thought the, uh, the boss, like, killed them. Nope, they're still kicking. Ha ha! <laughs> Some kick. Talk about kicking her while she's down. Mm. Holy cow! Kind of looks like the World of Evil background. Oh yeah. From, uh, Soul Blazer. But without the kick-ass music. Well, all right, we killed all the god beasts. Uh oh. What's the problem? Isn't that good? Ow. Yeah, they kind of have that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's probably why they didn't kill you. <laughs> okay, well, we're still doing pretty good, so let's keep on going. All righty. Well, thank you for giving me a healing point after we don't need it anymore. But that's okay. The goddess statue, uh, looks a little different there. Oh, yeah, because the goddess is kind of dead. She is? Yeah, she died and gave us the drum. Oh, yeah. It's been a little while. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, let's uh, keep on going up. Uh, I forget what the... Uh, okay, what? I forget what the graphics are called for having the foreground and background move separately uh, like this. Is it like parallax or something? Uh, but it oh. Looks, it, lo it looks really awesome. Yeah. Okay, so coming up here, let's see. Well, we can't use protect up because we're already at max defense anyway. So, yeah. All we need is power up and elemental savers. All right, we're done with the glass desert. Now into the dragon's hole. Okay, uh, entrance kind of remind me of uh, Onyxia's lair. Oh yeah. Got the uh, jaw open up. Why would you know that? You've never done her. Oh, I've seen the entrance. Ah. I've never done raids though. <laughs> so. <laughs> Nuts. Well, we've been doing pretty good so far. going on? What the? No. You, 
You can head desk if you want. No. <laughs> That's about as hard as I'm gonna face palm without knocking myself out. <laughs> Uh, good for you. Can you just give us a pass, then? So is the Dragon Emperor pretty much the Lich King here? Or he revived him, forced him to work for him? Yeah, pretty much. Mm. Whoa! I guess I got some mind control whatever thing going on. For boss time! Okay, first things first. Let's see, the Dark Shine Knight is weak to light, air, and fire. So I have my choice of sabers to use. I'm gonna go with fire there. And then, if I can ever get to it, I also want to use power up. Remember, you want to use power up after the saber because of the way the power up effect stacks with it. You don't want to do power up then the saber. Oh, I'll figure that work like that. That's one of the reasons why I made Lee into Avanides instead of Star Lancer. Because I'm gonna have to cast the buffs one at a time anyway. Yeah. Okay, get one more on Lee there. And by the way, like I was saying with uh, Protect Up. All of the Dark Shine Knight's attacks are physical. Hmm. But we are at maximum defense anyway, so it doesn't make any difference. I figured he would have like a heavy uh, saber kind of uh, damage. Uh, he, I think he can use elemental sabers. Or, no, no, he can't. He has all of Grand's potential techs, though. Uh, Even Eruption Sword. I was gonna say, let's try to move um, towards. Or he could do it himself. I was gonna say, move him towards the center so we could actually see him. Or not. Oh boy. Ow. Oh, I forgot to restock on the healing items from the reserves. Oh. Well, that'll make things interesting. Well, it's not like this guy has a crap ton of HP. Yeah, this guy is actually pretty easy, honestly. Mm. I mean, I don't know how much HP he has, but he has an elemental weakness. Really easy for us to exploit. Okay, let's go with that on Duran. But yeah, if you got, if you don't have Carly in your party, you want to have a ton of uh, what's it, healing items in your reserve inventory to get through all of this. Uh, yeah, we better heal up in case he does another big AOE. Yeah, I'm surprised he's using them that quickly. Maybe the game's difficulty scales with two players. Hmm. I don't think they'd be that smart, though. Yeah. <laughs> this is Squaresoft we're talking about. Oh. <laughs> Go figure. Thanks, game. Uh, can I get up now? Well, you can't die. We need you to throw the Dragon Emperor into the Pit of Despair. Mm -hmm. How hard could he possibly be? Answer, Barry. Mm -hmm. This, I mean, even without taking the Super Boss into account, this is by far the most difficult path of the three, as far as the final dungeons go. And what a done, what a path for me to choose on my first playthrough of the game way back in the day, with bad classes. Yeah. I don't even think I found the dragon. Uh, the not the dragon emperor. The uh. Well, that grab it. Yeah, I'm in this one. I like completely missed his room. Yeah, you can't fight it on the first trip, but we'll be going into that eventually. But all right, now that we've got oh. beaten him, let's see. Okay, we're max strength for Elise, so let's go for intelligence. A little more magic defense. Okay, and at this point, oh yeah, go for intelligence now. Okay. I've gotten all the spells, or most of the spells that I care about. 
Oh, Sorry. the menu there quickly said, uh, you learn, what was that? Poison bubble. But oh. that's basically useless to us. Nothing's weak to it. Oh. And I still can't quite max out my strength. Duelist, you can get up to 22, if I recall correctly. Hmm. But I'm still being locked out of it. So, yeah, we're going to want to go back, heal up, restock on our inventory. I'm, I mean, we got the reserve inventory. We're not going to go all the way out. And then we'll... See what lies beyond in the Dragon's Hall. Next time on Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3. I'm H.C. Bailey. And I'm J.B. Signing off. Have a good day.